Good evening. Good evening to everyone. God bless you. Delighted uh, to be here this evening. Uh, we are grateful to God for blessing us to come together again virtually for our Bible study. Uh, I'm, I'm W.R. Richter, First Missionary Baptist Church here in the city of Lufkin, Texas. And I just want to let you know how much I appreciate each of you taking the time out to be a part of our Bible study on this evening. Amen. I trust that you had a wonderful day today and that all is well in your life. Amen. I, um, I, I won't be long this evening. I'm just going to uh, share from the scriptures for a few minutes uh, because I have a, an engagement I have to go to tonight. And uh, so I'm going to be uh, a little brief uh, this evening. Um, I want to uh, start off with prayer. I want to uh, pray for uh, Sister Janet Edwards, who is out of the hospital. Uh, Sister Bobby Edwards, her sister, informed me that uh, Sister Janet is out of the hospital, and so we want to keep her lifted up in prayer. Also, I want to pray for uh, Brother Cottrell Allen. I spoke with him the other night or the other afternoon, rather, uh, might have been yesterday, the day before yesterday, I spoke with him on the phone, and and uh, so we want to continue to lift him up uh, in prayer. He's out of the hospital, uh, but we want to continue to pray on his behalf. Also, I want to pray for uh, Pastor Fred Dade of the China Chapel Baptist Church there in the St. Augustine area. Uh, his wife passed away, and so let's lift up uh, Pastor Dade and family in our prayers. We also want to pray for baby uh, Asia and her mother. Uh, this is the granddaughter of uh, brother Charles Johnson. And so we want to lift them up uh, in our prayers. Let's remember brother Larry Hackett, I'm sorry, Larry Hackett uh, in our prayers as well. Uh, we also want to pray for brother Jimmy Evans uh, let's pray for him. Also, Sister Wyoming Love, uh, let's remember her in prayer. Also, uh, Mr. Joe Deason, let's pray for Mr. Joe Deason uh, as well. And there are many, many others whose names come to mind that's on our prayer list. But uh, whoever it is that you, you're you thinking of, as we go to God in prayer, we would that you would call their name. And remember them in prayer. Whatever your prayer needs are, God is more than able to meet your every need. Okay? Let's go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for keeping us and bringing us up to this very moment right now. Lord, we thank you for being our keeper. Thank you for holding us up as only you can. Lord, we praise you. We bless your name just knowing that we're in your hand. Oh, God, we thank you for Jesus Christ. We praise you for your Holy Spirit who indwells us. Now, we ask you that you will forgive us of any wrong and all wrong that we've done contrary to you. Against your will, we ask you that you forgive us and wash us and make us clean. I pray your blessings upon these people who have joined in with us this evening for our virtual Bible study. Pray that you will bless them. Thank you for those who are on Facebook. For those who are with us on Zoom, I thank you for them all. And I bless them. You know what blessing they stand in need of. We pray that you bless them. Help us all to do better. Help us to get closer to you. Help us to take every opportunity we get and just draw near unto you. You promised me a word. If we draw nigh to you, you will draw nearer to us. Now we pray that you'll remember those whose names are called on our prayer list. Pray that you'll touch them and bless them, oh God. We know that all healing comes from you. And Lord, no matter how bad it looks, no matter how bad it is, we know you have power to heal and raise up and restore health, oh God, in your name. And we ask you that you'll grant it according to your will. Now somebody is having trouble making ends meet. I pray that you will help them look to you, that their ends will be met, knowing that that whenever you step in the picture, things change. Now, Lord, we pray that you'll bless us through the study of your word. Speak to our hearts tonight. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I want to invite you for a few minutes.
to 2 Timothy chapter 1, the New Testament book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, and I am reading verse 5, verse 5 of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, amen, uh, in keeping with our emphasis or theme for the year, uh, faith, family, and the future. I want to look at verse 5 of 2 Timothy chapter 1 uh, in the New Testament. Verse 5 of the first chapter of 2 Timothy says, When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Amen. 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 I want, I want to just talk about real faith. Real faith. Or genuine faith. Amen. Amen. This is, um, uh, we're coming up on fifth Sunday, and uh, I wanted to look at this text. Uh, this is Paul's second letter to his spiritual son, Timothy. Uh, he, he wants to impart knowledge to him. This is knowledge that can can help him and all who hear what he says through life. It's a blessing uh, to have those who are older to wisely impart knowledge uh, to the younger. Amen. Paul was an older man. Timothy was a young man. And we have here the older giving instructions and counsel and wisdom to the younger. Listen, this text lets me know that every Timothy needs a Paul. Amen. The young folk need the older folk. Just like every Joshua needs a Moses. Just like every Ruth needs a Naomi. Just like every John Mark needs a Barnabas. The young folk need the wisdom and the experience and the instruction and the advice of the old folk. No wonder David said in Psalm 37 verse 25, he says, I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg bread. That's an older man giving words of counsel that can help the younger folk. Amen. Amen. And so here was Paul imparting wisdom to this young man, Timothy. Who was Timothy? We look at who the person Timothy was. Timothy was like a son to, to Paul. He was Paul's spiritual son in the ministry. And, and so they, they had a closeness uh, to each other. Uh, and so he, 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 he saw something uh, in Timothy. He knew that God had had his hands on Timothy. Now, listen to what he says. When I read in verses 3 and 4 of this first chapter of 2 Timothy, uh, he, he gives praise concerning Timothy. Listen to what he said. He said, I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers day and night, greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. He thanked God for Timothy. And he prayed for Timothy. And listen, you ought to be thankful for the people that you have in your life, especially those who, who, who like uh, uh, they're living in such a way whereby you can be proud of them. You can say that they were inspired. You can see that. And they even testify that, that you have a hand in uh, them making the right decisions that they make. Be thankful for, for them. And Paul teaches us not only be thankful for them, but pray for them. Be thinking about them and pray for them. Listen to what he says. Night and day. Amen. Pray for them. Anybody that you know is doing good, don't take it for granted. Pray for them. Because listen, Anybody that's doing good, the devil wants to mess it up 
and cause them to do bad. Mm -hmm. And so we got to pray for one another. Is there somebody that means a lot to you? Listen, pray for them. If they're doing well, pray for them. If they're not doing well, pray for them. But especially, uh, uh, you know, a lot of times we, we see them doing well and we think they got it all together. Listen, you just don't know the battles that they're fighting. Pray for them. Paul said, Timothy, I pray for you. This is the praise he had for Timothy. And, and he, he, he let him know that he was praying for him. Amen. But then he, he, he reveals what he perceived in Timothy. What he perceived in Timothy. Listen to what he says. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee. Paul said, look, when I, when I remember the real faith that's in you, Paul said, listen, I know, I've seen it. I perceive, I, you got it, that real faith in you. He, he, he makes reference of Timothy's faith. Amen, amen, amen. He, he talks about his faith here, uh, uh, real faith. Now listen, uh, you know that, that, that the Bible clearly teaches us that. If you want to please God, if you want to get anywhere with God, you must have faith. Amen. Faith. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 6 tells, the Bible tells us a lot about faith. Let me just mention some scriptures. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Ephesians 2 and 8 tells us we are saved through faith. For he says, for by grace are you saved through faith. The only way anybody can be saved is through faith. Amen. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. Galatians chapter 3 verse 11. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. All say the same thing. The just shall live by faith. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 tells us that we walk by faith. Romans 5 and 1 says we are justified by faith. Mark 11 and 22, Jesus said, have faith in God. Uh, Ephesians 6 and 16 tells us to take the shield of faith, that we may be able to quench the fiery darts of, of the enemy. 2 Timothy 4 and 7 tells us to keep the faith. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12 tells us to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. 1 uh, John chapter 5 verse 4 says overcome by faith. 1 Peter 1 and 5 tells us we are kept by the power of God through faith. Colossians 1 and 23 tells us to continue in the faith. Evidently, it's all about faith. We got to have faith. Faith. It, Paul said to Timothy, I, I, I'm convinced I can tell, you know, I can see that unseen faith in you. The Christian life is a life of faith. Paul saw Timothy had real faith. Well, this faith that he saw in him was sincere. That's why he called it unfeigned. It was sincere faith. It was not no phony faith. It was not no hypocritical faith, but it was genuine. Uh, it's a faith that causes a changed life. Uh, it's a faith that will cause one to have a life of strong conviction. It's a, it's a, it's a faith that will cause a person to have a committed life uh, to God. Amen. This is no pretense. Uh, this faith that he saw was, was real. And listen, one way you can tell, one of the ways you can tell, one of the ways is reveal whether or not your faith is real is when trouble comes in your life. It's something about the troubles and trials that have a way of, of testing your faith. God will put your faith 
to the test. That's why in the book of James, he says that kind of all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith, work it through, your, your faith will be tried. Amen. And so it, it will be revealed whether or not your faith is real. Amen. So he saw in Timothy sincere faith. But not only did he see sincere faith, but he saw that, that this faith that Timothy had was a shared faith. A shared faith. Listen to what he said. He said, this unclean faith that is in thee which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice. He said, it's a shared faith. It's obvious that, that Big Mama Lois and Mama Eunice uh, shared their faith with Timothy. Amen. It's a shared faith. He didn't get it from his daddy. He got it from his grandmama and his mother. He didn't get it from school. No, he got it from big mama and mama. Amen. It's a shared faith. Real faith is to be shared. Amen. It is to be shared. We are not to keep our faith to ourselves. Notice who it started with. It started with somebody in the family. You got somebody in the family that you need to share your faith with. Amen. Amen. It's a shared faith. Listen, let it, let it become contagious. All the stuff folk can catch. Let them catch your faith. Amen. Catch your faith. Amen. And so it's a shared faith. Don't, don't ever be ashamed to share who you got your faith in. When your faith is in the Lord, you let somebody know it. Don't be ashamed to share your faith. All right? But not only was it a sincere faith and a shared faith, but it was a stirring faith. A stirring faith. Paul talks about it. It was obvious. It was visible. It stood out. The impact of it. Uh, your faith will impact others. Amen. Your faith will have a tremendous impact. That's why you can't minimize the power of faith. You can't, you can't downgrade and play down the power of faith because faith has a tremendous impact. Amen. When you read in Hebrews chapter 11, uh, you read uh, some examples of the impact of faith in God. Jesus said, if you have faith in God, you can speak to your mountains and say, be thou removed and be cast into the midst of the sea. And don't doubt what you say, but believe and have faith. He said, you can have whatsoever you say. Amen. Faith by faith in God. And so he says that 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 your faith uh, is a stirring faith. It's a faith that has an impact. If your faith in God can motivate others, did you hear me? When you have faith, it can motivate others. Somebody asked, "How do you get faith?" Romans ten tells us. So then, faith come by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. The more you hear God's word, the more it ought to cause you to have faith. It ought to nourish your faith. It ought to impact your faith. It ought to grow your faith. Amen. Amen. And so Paul here, he talks about Timothy having a stirring faith. Now as I close, some people are known for being famous. Some are known for their finances. Many people are known for their fashion, how they dress. Others are known for their fitness. Unfortunately, many are known for their foolishness. But wouldn't it be a wonderful thing to be known for your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Having faith in God, that's a good way to be known. So what about you? Do you have faith in God? Real faith in God will move mountains. Real faith will get you through your valleys. Real faith trusts in the ability of God. Real faith says, for God I live and for God I die. Real faith 
will make you serve the Lord even when you don't feel like it. Real faith will make you go with Jesus all the way. Real faith in the Lord says, I have come too far to give up now. Real faith knows if I can just hold out till tomorrow, if I can just keep the faith through the night, if I can just hold out till tomorrow, everything going to be all right. Keep the faith. Jesus will be with you all the way if you just keep the faith. Amen. Amen. That's, that's all I want to tell you this evening. Have faith in God. Have real faith. Father God, we thank you for your word tonight. Thank you for these thy people. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. If there be any on Zoom that wish to have a few comments, you're welcome to do so at this time. If not, I just want to tell everybody thank you for joining in and being a part of our virtual Bible study on this evening, all right? Okay, we got a couple of uh, people that we want to mention in prayer. Uh, prayer request has been submitted, and so we want to mention Mervyn and Cynthia Dudley in our prayers at this time, okay? Let's pause and pray. Father God, we thank you for your word tonight. Now we pray for Mervyn and Cynthia Dudley. We pray, oh God, that you look on them in your mercy. You know what they stand in need of more than anybody. Lord, even though I don't know who they are, it doesn't come to mind if I do know them, but I know you know. And you know what they stand in need of. Whatever their need is, I pray that you'll help them. Lord, I, not only them, but you know all of us have a need. And we pray that you'll help us. For you're the one who supplies all our need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So we pray for them. Help them to get closer to you. Help them to look to you by faith. Help them to experience more of you. And, oh God, whatever they're dealing with, you're able to walk them through it. Bless them and keep them now. And we thank you and we give you praise. I want to thank you again for each and every one who have joined in with us for Bible study. Keep us all and guide us throughout the remainder of the evening. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for being with us. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. You too, man.